How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build your first helicopter in Stormworks. It's going to be very small, very basic, A to B, transport, helicopter, multiple seats, maybe a winch later on. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a quick uh, tutorial just showing you guys how to put together all the rotors, gyros, things like that uh, into your helicopter. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so we are in the helicopter island and we're going to go to the workbench here. Now we don't have a massive space to work with like with other hangars, but that's fine because we're only making a small helicopter. Now there are going to be a few select components that you are going to need to research if you're playing in survival mode. That's going to be the rotor, uh, any size really, uh, the tail rotor and the gyro, they're pretty much the things you need. Um, for this, as well as an engine components, things like that. Uh, and obviously, if you progress in the game, you can upgrade your helicopters, make them bigger, make them uh, better with the new components. That's fine. So, uh, right, let's get into it. So, I'm going to start with the uh, pilot seat just so I can get a grasp on uh, the shape of it, basically. So, what we're going to do is kind of map out the size. So. Yeah, you can imagine a helicopter uh, cross section here. Now feel free to look on the internet and the workshop for inspiration, that's fine. Um, but it doesn't have to be very inspired, we're only making something tiny. So. I'm just going to add in the engine now. We use a small engine just because it's smaller and it provides plenty of power um, for the rotor anyway, so that's fine. But if you are lifting like extremely heavy loads, like a ship or whatever, you're going to need a, a lot of power. So that's fine. Now probably the hardest part is getting a good fuel system down. If you're building something small like this, getting a lot of fuel in can be difficult. So I'm going to try and make it as ergonomic and tiny as possible. Uh, right. And we can just pipe that straight up to the fuel. Shit. I'll do it like this just so it's not in the way of any other pipes that we add in later. We'll come across, add in a weird T-piece. That bit's gonna stick out, but it doesn't matter. That can be a, a, fuel, port, a fuel port actually, which would be awesome. So we can actually refuel this thing. Where is the fuel connector? Awesome. Now, coolant we can do with a simple radiator. Now they are pretty big, so I'm just going to wire in something sort of small. I uh, don't know how we're going to do this. Could have it down here. Just trying to keep it super compact. Is that gonna work, is it? Put on our mirror mode this time. Like that. And it's gonna be the sacrifice the width, but if you don't know how to build an engine like this, like I'm doing, I'm not really doing it super with all the colours and everything, but I do have another video that you can go check out, and I know I use the same engine on a boat, so it's all the same thing, it doesn't matter. But that's great, now I'm going to add a exhaust pipe, doesn't have to be anything crazy, 
It can be a uh, port as well as a exhaust as well, if you want. And we'll literally just put a port straight there because I don't think I'm going to be boxing any of this in. Uh, so we'll just leave it like that. Now I've left the power facing up, that's a good thing because that's going to go to our rotor when we place it in. So now I'm just going to build out the tail section a little more with some of these sloped blocks. I'm not going to make this look crazy. Um, but yeah. There we go. Let's build out the front a little bit. Make it with some of these. It's a bit long, but it uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> and now we're going to push this up a little bit. We're actually going to have a two connections come off this. Because one's got to go to our tail rotor, which has to be powered. And the other has to go up to the main rotor. Try and keep it as low down as possible. Don't want to take off our pilot's head here, so we'll just do that. Now I'm going to use a large rotor, I think. I think that's the first one you get. And take note of where the arrows are. You want the big forward facing arrow to face forward, obviously, to the front of your helicopter. And you sort of want these to be in that position, but from what I can tell there's no real difference other than like the pitch and the roll kind of inverted I think but that's always how I've placed it so and that's always worked for me so that's fine and your power is going to be out the front for some reason and that's a bit annoying but that's fine and I'm just going to build it up a little bit it looks super weird but that's fine Yep. <laughs> okay. Now uh, we have to make this quite a bit longer because the tail road cannot hit this main row. Let's see how big it is. Still a bit more. There we go. Now I'm just gonna put a just gonna wire that up and make it look a bit better with that. Memory doesn't really matter right here. So there's a little tail, it's pretty cool. And it's very weird looking. Take this down. And into there. I'll extend this out a bit as well. So there we go. That is going to be the construction, at least. I'm just going to build this out a bit more to make it look like sort of a cockpit, I guess. And there we go. Uh, obviously every helicopter needs some cool landing legs. So I'll put them on as well. There we go. Now this should work, the engine should work, the rotor should turn, however it's not going to fly just yet. Um, because we haven't wired anything up. So I'm just going to put a couple of buttons here. You do start off with some displays that you can use, like dials and stuff. And you can unlock artificial horizons, things like that. But I'm not going to be using any of those because they're pretty simple to work out. You should, you should uh, be pretty easy to find out how they work if you've just joined the game. So 
I'm just going to do a couple buttons which we can use right here. Toggle button and push button in the middle. So this middle one is a push so you have to hold down your key for it to uh, put out and on. So we'll call this starter so we don't get a constant clicking of the ignition because um, you forgot to turn off the button and we'll simply wire that straight to off. Simple as that. Now this one's going to be auto hover which will allow us to stay in one position um, while we're in midair which is awesome. We want that. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, let's do that as red. That's green. Uh, oh, we don't actually need that one, I don't think. Sweet, we can save some money. But this, you need a gyro. Uh, which has everything you need to control your helicopter. Because um, if you just wired this straight up now, it'll crash and burn. You don't want that. You want it to be nice and stable. And the gyro is quite big. So I don't know where to put it. Can I fit it in there? Nope. <laughs> Sorry, right. I'll just put it under here for now. And this is going to have... I don't know how well you can see. It's going to have four number inputs, four number outputs, and a one off which is happens to be auto hover so you can just wire that straight up and that's going to be a toggle so you're going to want that on if you want it on stuff like that it's not like the style and now this is where you want to wire up your um, keys on your seat so your is going to be the tail rotor collective so how much air the tail rotor is pushing so which is going to turn the helicopter this way it's going to make it uh, change the bearing um, if you know what that means so stabilize your is going to go to the your on there because this row is constantly going to be spinning because it's being powered by our engine but the collective is going to be straight so it's not going to be pushing any air until you give it a number uh, which is going to be on my seat left right I think that's just the best uh, control for me um, so you can do that whenever you want now up down is going to be the same as the tail rotor but it's going to be the collective on the large rotor and while we're here if you use the select tool you have to make these neutral because they'll start off in the positive position which will basically mean your helicopter goes all, all the time all the way up you don't want that, you want it to be neutral and then when you push in some collective you want it to go up so that's all good and then roll is going to be your helicopter rolling like this uh, which is good for making like banks and stuff and that's simply going to go to AD I guess and to the roll on the rotor and pitch is the exact same thing However, it is um, your helicopter going this way. And that's going to be how you're going to go forward and stuff without any other propellant. So yeah. And we're going to add a battery. Because we need to power everything. And look at that. We'll fit right in there. Nice. We'll put a little generator on here just to keep it powered while we're flying. And wire that up there. Awesome. Now this should work now. Um, but we are going to need a throttle value, which I forgot. But... I'm going to save some time by just putting it as one. 
so the throttle is always one. You won't be able to stop the thing, but it's just going to be one. You can obviously change that to a throttle lever. Um, I don't really have the space, so I'm just going to leave it as one. It's always going to be on, which is fine actually because it's just going to be turning, but you won't be flying uh, because we are going to be controlling that. I'm going to spawn this in. This might not work straight away because there is some adjusting that we have to do. Like that. But let's see. So we've got starter. And boom. We're flying now. I can use um I've set the keys to WSD and I've jumped out. Now I've set the keys to WSD. That's gonna be your pitch and roll, as you can see. And then WS is going to be up and down like this. And then AD is going to be your like this and now it's very like rocky and if I just let that I would eventually just crash and tilt like this I'm not touching anything right now so that's when we press the auto hover button and as you can see we are stable we should stay around about in the same place in the same height as we were and you can you can fly like this this would be better for landing. Coming in on landing. Like that. Now, there is if you have found that you've built this and your helicopter is violently shaking in the air um, you want to come down in the gyro um, because you've got way too much power for the gyro and it's overshooting itself all the time and you're gonna be rocking everywhere um, as you've probably seen so you want to come down the gyro and they've added this fairly recently they've made it so you can set the sensitivity on your gyro so you just want to bump down the throttle a bit on whatever you might be roll say uh, and then if you find that's too much still you can lower it or if you're getting no feedback whatsoever raise it and it's trial and error at that point and then yeah you should get a nice stable helicopter that you can use in your missions you can obviously add whatever seats you like onto here so you can uh, transport passengers or you can put a winch system on here that's going to be all good so yeah that's going to be about it for this video i want to thank you guys for watching if you want any more tutorials like this um be sure to comment like and do all that good stuff and uh yeah i'll catch you in the next video